coming to you from our GIS studios. I am Anicia Antoine and this is your Midday News Brief. Ground has broken on the southern headquarters for the Water and Sewage Company Incorporated, WASCO. Government, acting on the advice of the Chairman and Board of Directors of WASCO, decided to construct the new office facility which is expected to accommodate the overall proposed development of the south of the island. The management of WASCO says the new premises in Beaufort provides not only an improved workspace for staff but will also improve service delivery to residents. Mayor of the Beaufort South Constituency Council, Orisia Denbo Bullen, says the new building will bring more opportunities for residents of the South. The 10,000 square foot two story building will feature prominently at the entrance of the town of Beaufort and is expected to be completed in less than 12 months. The project costs some $7.5 million, with financing in part by the Bank of St. Lucia. The Ministry of Agriculture welcomed a group of 13 students from the College of Agriculture in Guadeloupe. The purpose of the visit was to expose the students to the farming systems in St. Lucia and the different agricultural techniques. Paul Edgar, chairperson of the Babono Constituency Council, gave insight as to some of the activities the students engaged in, including a visit at the banana farm in Roseau and a tour of the agricultural complex in Union. Odell Cancel Zenon, biology and ecological teacher accompanying the students, expressed gratitude to the government of St. Lucia for the opportunity and noted that the students have learned a lot. The program commenced on Saturday the 18th of January and culminated on Saturday the 25th of January 2020. The Government of Japan, through the Japan International Cooperation Agency JICA, has come to the aid of the fishers of Schwozel with regard to the use of its fishing port. Since construction of the Schwozel fishing port close to some 20 years ago by the Japanese government, fishers of the community have had difficulty getting their fishing vessels into the port due to the build-up of sills in the area. JICA has again seen it fit to assist the fishers of Schwozel in finding a solution to the persistent problem and recently made a presentation to fishers as well as the Schwozel Fisherman Cooperative Society. Minister for Agriculture, Fisheries, Physical Planning, Natural Resources and Cooperatives Honorable Ezekiel Joseph highlighted that previous measures undertaken by government to remedy the situation proved extremely costly and were not something that would be sustainable. It was for this reason that the government of Japan was re-engaged. According to the Japanese officials, the proposed solutions would not see any meaningful results until the end of 2020. There will, however, be short-term measures. This has been your Midday News Brief. Thank you for watching.